everyone. It's Mark from Tranquil Garden Urban Homestead. Um, I'm in outside of my greenhouse here. Um, I had a lot of uh, people saying that uh, they wanted to learn a little bit more about my greenhouse, especially from the uh, tour that I did last week of the whole homestead here. And so that today I thought I'd uh, have a look and show you some of the features in the greenhouse that actually help uh, keep the greenhouse warm um, in summer, in winter time and uh, keep it from uh, getting too cold in there um, and to uh, avoid having the plants freeze. So we'll have a look inside. Um, I'll show you some of the features and uh, what the thought was behind uh, those features and, and why they're actually in the greenhouse to try to uh, conserve uh, heat uh, that we get during the day and then at night time we want to be able to use that uh, to the best benefit. So the first feature that I'd like to uh, show you is the, uh, the knee wall right here. And uh, this knee wall is insulated. It's uh, basically cedar boards with insulation in between and then some cedar boards on the inside and some, some other type of cladding. So um, these walls are not as thick as I would have liked to have made them. Um, maybe one day I might change it, but uh, they're fairly thick and uh, they have much better R value uh, resistance basically to heat loss and to cold infiltration than the, the glass that's on the top half of the greenhouse. This is double pane glass but still um, the R value is much lower. So this way um, we get at least some insulation at the bottom of the greenhouse, usually where cold air tends to collect and uh, it does help quite a bit. I saw a big difference uh, in wintertime uh, temperatures, especially at night time. Uh, once I um, insulated these walls, initially they weren't insulated on the inside. So as you can see, there's cedar on the inside as well. And there's actually styrofoam on this wall, uh, sandwiched in between, kind of like you have on a house wall. The greenhouse is actually built out of 4x lumber. So a lot of the posts in the greenhouse are all 4x4s and then uh, things such as the walls which you saw before are all uh, usually, usually about four inches wide. So the other feature that we have in the greenhouse itself is this uh, water tank. It collects rainwater from the gutters up above from the greenhouse and uh, the water is mainly designed to provide water for watering the plants inside the greenhouse and it really helps um, at least at the beginning of summer when it's still full. Um, but the main uh, side benefit of this water tank is also that the water that's inside here heats up during the daytime. It's a dark colored tank. So then what happens at nighttime in that stored heat energy actually will then uh, come out into the greenhouse and help to keep the greenhouse from getting too cool. Now I would love to have more rain barrels than just this one. That would help things a great deal. But with the limited space in the greenhouse, that would mean I'd have less plants. And so that's the main purpose of a greenhouse is to have plants in inside it. So maybe one day there might be a way to uh, provide uh, more tanks and maybe put plants on top or some other way. So here we have actually two features um, in this one shot that um, also help to keep the greenhouse warm and actually even help to get the greenhouse warmer than it normally would be uh, during the daytime when we actually do our laundry. So we have a uh, ceiling here is actually part of the uh, deck that the greenhouse uh, but butts to and uh, what I did with the ceiling is basically insulate it with uh, some fiberglass insulation and then put up some cedar deck boards to make it look nice. The other feature is the dryer exhaust pipe um, for our electric dryer and it uh, is basically coming out of the laundry room going up and then going outdoors and uh, the residual heat when the dryer is going, uh, this pipe does get a little bit warm, not hot, but warm. Uh, that heat will of course go out into the greenhouse and help a little bit. Um, not a good idea to vent into the greenhouse, 
um, especially if you have a gas dryer, but even an electric dryer, because all you'll be doing is putting lots of moist air into the greenhouse, and all that moist air can actually cause mildew and all kinds of problems. So this is vented outdoors, um, outside the greenhouse, but um, we're hoping that a little bit of the heat from this pipe will actually help. So another way that uh, the greenhouse has a chance to accumulate heat during the daytime and give it off at nighttime is uh, the uh, extensive stone that's on the floor. So I have some, um, just some cement slabs here. I've got some cement bricks here. And then I've got some poured cement here in front. Um, but all of this uh, stone mass basically helps to absorb the heat during the daytime when the sun is shining and then at night time help to release it and uh, keep things warmer than if you had, let's say, just dirt or you had, let's say, uh, wood decking or something like that. Um, the stone is designed to, uh, to absorb uh, lots of heat and, uh, and then be able to give it off at night time. One feature that doesn't actually really help to keep the greenhouse warmer but works as a way for me to tell when the greenhouse is actually getting too cold at night time is this sensor here and I will uh, do a quick video inside the house a little bit later to show you what the sensor actually shows me. So we're indoors now and having a look at the readout that we have here in our kitchen showing that uh, the greenhouse sensor is right now sitting at around 10 degrees and uh, Celsius that is and uh, the interior temperature of our house is about 19 degrees again Celsius and uh, right now the temperature outside is actually around 5.6 so we've uh, got uh, much better temperature in the greenhouse than it is outdoors it's right now around 10 o'clock at night So the final uh, feature is the uh, extensive glazing on the roof and especially on the south wall where we get most of the sun exposure. The glazing is twin wall polycarbonate and it cost me quite a bit of money but it uh, provides enough exposure so that on the sunny days like today we get the maximum amount of heat going into the greenhouse. Um, and it basically then helps to heat up the greenhouse enough so that during night time it'll cool down slowly and that extra heat will help keep plants from freezing. So I hope that helped uh, give you an idea of what you can do in a greenhouse to try and conserve as much ener heat energy as possible during the daytime, collect it, and then be able to have it released at night time. And, uh, and keep things insulated as well so that the cold air doesn't come into the greenhouse as much as, as it would if um, we didn't have any insulation. So that wraps it up for this video. Um, if you have any comments or any questions about the actual uh, way that things were constructed that I've shown, uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, look forward to uh, doing another video soon for you. Take care.